Good news for school children up and down this country as Kemi Badenoch is here to protect them from woke ideologies by changing the rules to keep them safe in schools. Thank God we have people like Kemi Badenoch in this government who are pushing and pushing the conservative agenda against the woke ideologies and of course the brainwashing mentality going on and uh, not just in schools but of course across the social media and all the cultural institution and art and entertainment and everything else that you see from Disney and Netflix to the classrooms. So we have this issue uh, which we've talked about quite recently. Uh, some uh, schools and teachers are um, some of them are obviously woke so they are actually spreading propaganda and some of them who are just normal people they just want to teach they are getting into trouble for language because some language is offensive apparently it's all about the extreme gender lobby and the pronouns issues so a teacher who said good afternoon girls in a, a, a girls school basically was forced to apologize in a gender clash with pupils i mean they were all girls but the teacher got into trouble for saying good afternoon girls. What what are you supposed to say? Good good afternoon humans or you people? Whatever what we say these days? Makes no sense. The philosophy and religious uh, education teacher said that she was managed out by senior staff at the school after refusing to use only preferred pronouns. Why? Why is this even a thing? What what happened to sanity in this country? We are not California. What are we doing in this country? So that's one issue. And we've talked about this uh, before these sort of incidents happened we got um, teachers who are in hiding uh, because they were talking about um, islam for example and that's a different problem and now we have this so you the council culture is going so far because it's not really just council culture on a reactionary level these people are proactive they know exactly what they're doing even though it seems chaotic but they are completely changing the culture they want to bring down the whole civilization to start from scratch Pupils at the £20,000 a year private school complained and said that not everyone in the class identified as female, with one people challenging the woman to acknowledge their pronouns. Acknowledge my pronouns. £20,000. Your parents are so rich, they're paying £20,000 a year for you to go to that school and you... <laughs> What a way to be grateful, guys. Absolutely. Yeah, private schools are going completely woke now. There's absolutely no hope. Because anyway, we thought at least the independent schools, they are uh, breeding the, the conservative-minded people. No, 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 no. All that's gone. you got the uh, state schools uh, going crazy. you got private schools going crazy. Boarding schools going crazy. Oxford and Cambridge have been taken over by the crazies. But we have Kemi Badenoch. Yes, Kemi Badenoch, the freedom fighter. One of the few in government who has actually decided to change the rules to protect these teachers and protect our school girls. This is brilliant. So the idea is to basically say you cannot be bullied out of the classroom. Um, girls would be protected, uh, well, well, kids in general will be protected from the gender ideology. She doesn't want them to be uh, introduced to classrooms anymore. And she's also protecting the teachers who are being forced out by uh, the mob rule mentality that's been created by the council culture. So thank you, Kemi Badenog. And we even had the education secretary, Gillian Keegan, saying, uh, just to clarify, it is absolutely fine for teachers to say good morning girls or good afternoon girls. So even the education secretary has started to intervene in this area, uh, but it's mostly Kemi who's behind this move. Now, Gillian Keegan was on uh, Times Radio talking about this issue uh, when she was asked, uh, is, is it okay for teachers to say good morning girls? And she also mentioned that uh, Kemi Badenoch is working on it. There was a, uh, uh, a case in the papers over the weekend of a teacher who says that she was told to apologise to 11-year-old girls at a private girls' school because she said good afternoon girls at the start of a lesson. And she was made to apologise uh, by, I think it was the head teacher, because wow. not uh, everyone there identified as female. Now, <laughs> that, that, that's something that you know may be happening in, in certain classes uh, up and down the country, may not. But that's the issue. We've been saying this for years. For the past few years. Oh, it's only happening in a couple of places. Now it's happening everywhere. It's time to say it. I think that this goes to the very heart of what the guidance needs to, to address. How, how can you come to uh, come to a guidance which means which will mean that teachers like this are not unfairly treated, but then at the same time that they can be sufficiently sensitive 
to children who who feel that they don't identify as a particular gender. Yeah. I mean, that is a good point. Before she actually answers the question, uh, by the way, we have to pause every now and then because of copyrights. It's not my fault to actually keep pausing in the video. Uh, it is important to say it, 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 this issue is now hitting both teachers and school kids. Uh, it's no longer just one area. So everyone's being targeted by the cultural Marxists and we have to actually protect the, the, the kids as well as the teachers who want to go with sanity, which is only a few of them now these days. <laughs> And that's obviously the tricky balance that we need to get. And we need to be sensitive, obviously, to children, but more importantly, make sure parents are fully involved as well. We need to look after the well-being of all pupils. In that case, you know, the well-being of girls is also very important. And good morning, girls, is absolutely fine to say uh, in a girls' school to a, group, to a girls' class, you know. And we have to be sensible and have, a, you know, a big dose of common sense here. Um, you know, this is... Um, We've seen how important it is, you know, we can't mix up sex and gender. We've seen what happened in Scotland when it got that round the wrong way. Um, and Sorry to interrupt again, Gillian Keegan is right, but at the same time, we've heard from government ministers and even the prime minister rejecting the woke ideologies and all this stuff. But it's just words. It's, all this stuff is still happening in this country under your government. I, I mean, obviously, we have some good news today about Kemi Badenoch changing things, but what about the rest of it? You know, the Prime Minister comes out and says something sound, saying, yeah, we only have uh, men and women and all this, but it's still happening under your nose. You know, really our guidance needs to provide um, safeguarding for all children and make sure that, uh, you know, it does cover uh, all children's rights as well. So, it, it, yes, we need to be sensitive, but we also need to have common Sense. And when is that guidance coming? It will be published before the summer recess. Okay. I'm working with the Women Equalities Minister um, and others as well to make sure that we get that uh, balance right. And then it will be consulted on. So it will be a draft which will be put forward for consultation um, so that we can get all the views. Because we do know that it is a sensitive area. There's lots of people who have different views and uh, we want to make sure that we can uh, consult on those views. Okay, so the good news is added uh, with... Uh a bit of pinch of salt because uh, the government are doing government stuff. So they're going to uh, issue the draft, good, before the summer recess, so quite uh, nice coming up. And then they're going to do consultation, review, have a meeting about having a meeting, about having a meeting. So I think we can expect these changes to come in place uh, in 2045. <laughs> so, but this isn't really Kemi's fault, it's just the process of government. The whole system is broken. Somebody needs to shake things up. We have to make things more uh, um, efficient, streamline the whole situation. Everything in the Whitehall machine is just idiotic. It makes absolutely no sense. You're wasting taxpayers' money on inquiries and inquiries. Nothing actually changes. You have to get things done properly. Uh, we need more sane versions of Dominic Cummings in government to do these sort of things because we can't really just continue with status quo. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on my TC and we are the media.